Hey everybody, my name is Tasha and welcome to my studio at Natasha's Fun Ceramics. I'm just doing a wee voiceover, I'm doing this in double time. Um, today we're going to be making some jugs and I'm just setting my wheel up with this little pad of clay that I can put my bats on and then I can start to throw it with. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask and of course subscribe to my channel for more great videos of pottery. So keep watching and you'll see how I make my milk jugs and tune in next week for a little bit more on assembly um, and decoration. Today is all about throwing. And that's us. So these are just regular tiles. You can use bisque tiles, which is probably easier. These are like proper glazed tiles. Um, I'm going to set up my pointer next, just roughly, so I'll know where I'm going to throw it to. So I'm just using the little watermark here. There's a little bit of clay in my hands and I can see roughly how big the circle is on the clay so I can measure that out. So I want my milk jug to be, let me just check, about 12 and a half by 8. So measure the bottom, attach it onto the side of my wheel and a little skewer or a paintbrush or anything like that will be fine and try and set up the height. So these are quite tall little narrow cylinders which is a bit more difficult for beginners but just to start with any sort of cylinder would be recommended. Okay so I'm happy enough with my pointer. I'll try not to hit it when I get making and I'll double check again after the first one. So I'm going to pat these on and a bit of water so you keep adding water onto it. I want it to slide through my hands and not be too much friction or anything and what I'm going to do is use my left hand to push in against the clay and use this sort of L of my hand to push in. I'm going to anchor my elbow on the edge of the wheel so that my hand is not being pushed about but it's been really firm and really strong and it's pushing against the clay and as it's pushing against the side that will make the sides nice and smooth and my other hand is going to come in on top so I'm going to push it in up into a cone shape my other hand will come in top and force it back down and round it off using this sort of flat part of my hand here. Feels like it's in the center. I'm going to just open up the base. I'm just pushing down and I'm going to stop. You better go in just a little at a time and you can check with the pin tool. Um, so I'm just sort of trying to gauge from the tile of my pinky and the inside how much further I need to go. I want it to be less than a centimeter. Cast the centimeter would be plenty for the base. And once I think I'm down deep enough, I'm going to pull it back and open it up. So I'm going to open it up to roughly the same size that it will be when it's finished. So that's just under eight centimeters. And I'm compressing the base. So I'm just running my fingers from the inside out to three o'clock and back again, making sure there's no air bubbles in the base and that it won't crack. When I'm happy with that, a little bit more water. This is going to be quite a narrow piece, so I'm going to squeeze it back in. And then I'm ready to start throwing. So it's always at this three o'clock part. I use my finger pads against each other and I can just get a bit more feel for how much clay is in it. I'm pushing harder at the bottom. I'm squeezing my finger pads together and lifting them up and then easing off towards the top. A bit more water and same again. All the weight of the clay is in the bottom here. So that's where I really need to squeeze the hardest. It's a bit taller than it needs to be, that's all right. So I'm going to use a sponge on a stick and get down and take all the water over the inside. And then I'm going to use a blue kidney that I have from Mud Tools and the right angle corner will tidy it up and then there's a straight edge. I'm just going to tidy that up. I'm 
if I, I'll take a little, little bit out of the bottom here. That just helps when I wire it off um, for the wire to go through. Double check now that I've taken that out. It's still straight. And I can pop that one off and I'll make a couple more. This is only the second run that I've thrown, so once I've tied it up, it's still a wee bit wobbly, but they will get better the more that I keep practicing. I'm just double checking my measurements, and then I'm happy enough that I can start to throw a batch okay, of them. Okay, so now that I've thrown the cylinders that we need, I'm gonna make the spouts. So one of them didn't survive, um, but I'll still make a few extra spouts that I need. So I'm just gonna use that, sort of like making something on the hump. I'm just gonna use a big block of clay, and I only really need to center the top a little bit that I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to get like a little block, sort of this size, a centimeter, and I'll flatten top and push my finger down. And I'll go down probably like two centimeters. And then I'm going to use my finger to pull up again. So I want something quite small. It's going to be a little milk jug, so I don't need a very big spout. I want to be quite fine. That's probably okay there. I'm going to chop the bottom part off. I only need to take this part of the top, so I'm just going to take the throw lines out of it. Turn it up and then I'll cut it off. So these cute little spouts are pretty simple to make and you can make them quite quickly too. It's the same process that you would use if you're making a longer spout for the likes of a teapot or a coffee pot. Only um, once they're a bit longer it's more tricky because you'll need to have a stick on the inside or something that you can throw up against. But for now using my finger is perfect and I'm able just to make enough that I've got more than one spare at the end in case there's um, a little disaster while I'm trying to assemble them. So you can watch me make a few more and don't forget to tune in next time to see how I assemble these two pieces and combine my thrown spout onto my jug to make it just something a bit fun and fresh take on a milk jug. So that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed my workshop on how to make a jug. Um, I hope you got some throwing tips. Make sure to subscribe to get more videos. If you have any questions feel free to ask me and I'll probably do a little video in the coming days about how I assemble the spikes onto my jugs and a bit more on decoration. So thanks very much and have a good day.